Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparityPair.com. In this video we'll be doing something different, we'll be making a product review. We'll be showing you the uh, SC301 OBD code reader provided by the CG Select company. Uh, we'll show you from the unboxing to the main features of the reader and we'll finally show you uh, how it works on the car. So stay tuned. DisparityPair.com The SC301 comes in a plastic packaging. On the front side you can see how the cold reader actually looks like. On the back side there is a good illustration of all the features and benefits of this tool. Some of them are the scanner is designed by patent for portable and handy use includes 11 OBD2 functions. There is a one-click quick IM test, fast reading and erasing of error codes, prints data directly, it fits most cars since 1996, it includes a one-year warranty and lifelong free online update service. On the back side you will also see a separate compartment for the USB cable this is for connecting the tool to the computer for either printing the error codes or for software updating. The plastic packaging can be opened without cutting it which is convenient for later storage. Inside you'll find a user manual and a warranty list. The user manual is in English language, it's illustrated and easy to understand. Once you take out the SC301 out, you'll see that it's made in pretty good quality. The plastic is good, the cable and connector are also made to a good standard. All in all, it gives out a sense of seriousness. One more good thing is the cable length. It has about 70 centimeters, at least that's what I've measured. Also the connector is made well and seems it can withstand lots of connections. On the lower part of the tool there is a connection for the USB cable. Also the SC301 doesn't need any kind of batteries. It gets its power from the car so once you connect it it starts working. Now let's see how the SC301 actually works on the car. As with almost all OBD tools, turn on the ignition first so that the OBD reader can connect with the car. Don't start the engine, just turn the ignition key to the first stage so the dashboard lights come on. After that, connect the OBD connector to the port and as you'll see the OBD reader will come to life so to say. Now here what you have on this nice TFT screen is menu which says OBD2 and EOBD. This is for reading the codes and erasing the codes and so on. We'll show you that later. This is the DTC lookup. This is where you can read the error code. You don't have to go uh, searching for it on the internet. Here you have a review that is for the history of the error codes here you have print data this tells you how to print out the error codes or other data that you might need this is about the tool and this is the setup okay we'll go briefly into each menu so we can see what is what under this tft screen you also have a, a bar here which uh, has a green yellow and red light if everything is okay after reading the codes, the green light will come up. Uh, the yellow is for problems that are not that severe and the red light comes up if there is something that you should solve immediately. Under the bar, you have the digits here. This is for moving on the menu, the arrows. There's the confirm button, the back button, the power button and the question button. And there is also one more cool feature. This is the IM button, which enables you to uh, go 
through a fast scanning you don't have to go inside the menu and go through the whole procedure rather you press it and um, do a fast scan we'll show you that right away so when you press it it starts scanning the SC301 is pretty quick it takes two or three minutes even less to scan the car it says here linking to vehicle and once it's finished it gives you a reading like this one where you can see uh, what the possible problems are as you can see the red light here comes up so there are some problems that should be solved if everything was okay the green light would come up and if there were any problems that are not uh, severe the yellow light would come up we've finished doing this let's go back to the main menu so if you don't want to do a fast scan go to the obd2 eobd menu okay and it starts scanning this way it does essentially the same thing but you'll see there is a different menu now once the scanning is finished you get a listing of possible problems here after that it says erase previously stored data to save data from this test we'll say no you can say yes and after that you get a diagnostic menu where you have read codes, erase codes, live data, view, freeze frame, IM readiness, O2 monitor test, onboard monitor test, component test, vehicle information, modules present, unit of measure, and so on. I won't go into each of these features, don't want to take much of your time. But essentially this is all of the features. If you want to erase the codes, it will ask erase trouble codes are you sure yes no we'll search for no and you erase the codes okay pretty simple to use all you have to do is uh, once you connect the obd tool it scans everything using these digits you uh, choose what you want to do and that's it when you want to exit do you want to exit yes and that's regarding the main part after this this is the dtc lookup when you enter it you get to choose what code uh, you want to see what the problem is with the digits you change the numbers here in this case it's the p1035 we'll go to enter once you do that you have to choose what type of vehicle you want okay as you can see there are many options here we'll choose Volkswagen and then you can see it tells you what all the codes are about okay like this pretty cool feature so again you don't have to write the code down then go on the in search on the internet and so on let's go back uh, here you have the review this is again for the stored codes sort of a history of all the problems that happened previously print data when you go here it says refer to users manual for data printing procedures uh, here you have to use that cable that we've mentioned and connect the tool to uh, the computer and you can print out all the codes after that this is the about menu so it has the serial number and so on and here you have the setup menu where you can choose the language it has English, France, German, Spanish, and Italian. Pretty cool. Okay. After that, you can configure monitors. Here you have also to uh, reset factory default. You can choose unit of measure. There is English and metric and key beep set if you don't uh, like this beeping all the time when you work you can turn it off uh, you have also to set up the beeping for the diagnostics and a tool self test display test keyboard test led test and so on once you're finished 
turn off the ignition and you can take out the OBD uh, connector. I must also mention that by the words of the manufacturer, the SC301 is sadly only available in the United States. Nevertheless, if any of our viewers from the United States decide to actually uh, buy the SC301, I'll leave a link in the video description. Besides that, there is a claimer code or coupon code, uh, which if you buy the uh, OBD code reader from July 3rd to July 28th, you'll get a 10% discount. For the end, is the SC301 worth buying? Definitely yes. You'll get a mid-range, semi-professional, not amateur, but semi-professional uh, OBD tool with lots of useful features and made in good quality. So it can last, I think, a pretty uh, long time. For all of the people who, out there who like a DIY car repair, it's a very good tool. It will let you erase all of the error codes and find out uh, what's wrong with your car. To tell you the truth, uh, it's made in such a way that I think that even professional mechanics wouldn't be ashamed of it. So that's it for this time. I hope this video helps in choosing the right OBD tool. If you find the time, visit us at our website, despairrepair.com, where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.